BNC present black post all finally that speak us. Staying away from home brings its own challenges, but throw in a war and uncertainty, and you'll get what many are facing trapped in Ukraine amid a Russian invasion. Our next guest experienced the turmoil firsthand and joins us today, finally back in the States with his family. Professional basketball player Maurice Creek here right now. Maurice, thank you for joining us. How are you holding up? You've only been back since Thursday. I'm holding up really well. Um, I'm just happy to be home, my family and my friends. Um, I know it was a long journey for everybody, uh, but I think everybody could be at peace now that I'm home. Well, we certainly are, but walk us through what it took to get here. What were the most pivotal moments in your experience the last few weeks as Ukraine uh, was attacked by Russia? I was just tough um, about Charlie Parker for getting this man beret to get out. Um, it wasn't for none of us. Uh, I know a couple of times our plans have fell through, but you know, Eric just told me to keep the faith and the day of uh, Russia and Ukraine treaty. Um, he told me that, that was the day I was going to get out. So I'm just happy that he got by any means necessary, and I'm happy to be home. Well, it was a huge effort to get you out. What what all did it entail? Uh, just him, uh, Eric, you know, putting out the team that he needed to put out. Uh, I know everybody from there. Um, they they treated me like they, I was one of their sons, now, you know. And uh, to have that happen, you know, to the best ability and get me out, out to to get family. They could have did it for anybody with me, and I'm just happy and blessed. Mm -hmm. But what did they like? Have to put you on a convoy and you know physically put you on a plane? Because what we're hearing is that between the shelling uh, and between the resources that people can't even get out of their own cities. Well, we had a lot of them, um, but they were falling through. Uh, basically, they, uh, you know, tried to get me to the border as best as they could, any means necessary. And, um, you know, luckily I was just great enough to have uh, my coach um, and his, his sister and his wife had to leave the country too. And so I got in the cab with them and got to the Moldavian border. And when I got to the Moldavian border, that's when I kind of felt relieved that I was leaving Ukraine. Mm. You um, sent a text to your mom that she mentioned. It said, just know that I love all of you. What prompted you to send that message? You know, I just felt like maybe it was just my time. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. You know, mm. it's just... Going through a bunch of it, it just was tough, you know, just having to be around the people and look how scared they are. And I'm scared with them, you know, coaching staff, I'm scared with them too. And, you know, it's just wild that we had to go through these types of situations. Um, it, you know, and you have to hear the bombings at night, the shelling at night. Um, mm -hmm. It's dark during the streets at night. Uh, you don't know who can be coming up on you and who may not be coming up on you. You know, it's just a lot going on. So when I had to go through that bomb shelter situation, uh, I wanted to text her, my mom, and, and let her I love her and, and my family just, you know, just in case something happens. Mm -hmm. You had an opportunity to return and celebrate with your family uh, and your community just this past Saturday. What does it mean to to you to see this show of support? I love it. Um, I didn't really think uh, that so many people, you know, you just a kid from Oxon Hill, Maryland, and, you know, now they're calling me a hero. And it, it means to me to, uh, you know, to have that. And I'm just so ecstatic and I'm happy. Well, we are glad to see you safe, and you should remember that uh, as the young kid from Oxen Hill, you are an inspiration for so many young boys and girls who are coming up behind you. Maurice Creek, professional basketball player, thank you for joining us tonight.